Hello. <clears throat> How you guys doing? <sighs> yeah, I've never tried to make work chicken, but that sounds amazing. I might have to go get Chinese food for dinner. <laughs> I love, I love Chinese food. Especially orange chicken. It's just so tasty. Yeah, I uh, I did some work yesterday. I got my regular outfit all set up. So this is what we got for non sky streams right now. Knocks you out. Why would why would it knock you out? Thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy with the, how it turned out. I was gonna go for something more magic-y and then I was like, nah, you know what? Let's just do a, a little jean jacket and some pants. I might end up adding like a little witch hat or something. I just don't know how I want it to look yet. Oh, gotcha. I often have that um, effect on myself as well. Um, I can't even have like normal caffeine anymore because I get I get little fun little heart palpitations so I have to do decaf but yeah I can I'm one of those people the same way where it's like you drink a cup of coffee and you could nap it's wild <laughs> I don't know if I get that way with sugar too but I definitely get that way with uh, like caffeine mostly coffee but it just doesn't help unfortunately I mean, but hey, you know, if you ever need a nap, you know how to do it. So that's something. Okay. So, um, so one thing from last stream, I, uh, I'm excited for this stream too. And Selena was talking about that the other day. She was sad that I streamed Sky on Thursday instead of more, more of this. And I get that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, one thing, uh, I mentioned last stream that this stream was going to be late because uh, my chiropractor, I think, I meant next week. I didn't have my planner and I wasn't looking at it and I forgot that it's next Tuesday that I have my chiropractor appointment. <laughs> so. Yeah, next Tuesday at 2 is my appointment, but it's really close to my house, so. I shouldn't be too late if I am at all, who knows but I'll make sure to get my prep done before my chiropractor appointment so I don't have to worry about it. Cause I usually like to spend a few minutes beforehand just doing a test recording here or there, checking to make sure everything's working and all that. Oh, and I've got some tea to help with my voice. And I was smart and I even did a little bit of vocal warmups before stream. <laughs> oh. So hopefully, uh, my voice, voice won't be all tired by the end of the stream. <clears throat> I was gonna ask, did you guys enjoy having me read all the lines? Was that good for you? Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. It's all, it's all trial and error here. <laughs> but uh, I've watched a lot of streamers and a lot of like let's plays and I'm so used to everyone just reading out the lines. Okay. I wasn't sure, I figured that was the right way to do it, but, you know, it is a lot more wear and tear on your voice, and since I'm not used to streaming yet, you know, it can be quite tiring. So I need to do better about, like, warming up my voice pre-stream and making sure I've got some tea and stuff. Yeah, and that, <laughs> it should be okay. Um, it's just, you know, I gotta make sure I take better care of my voice. Oh no, I will. I like doing it, um, <clears throat> and it might help me get better at speaking because sometimes I don't word good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like I like reading the character voices. Um, it's just something I'm not used to yet, and I also you know I haven't been. They don't talk as much as I used to when I was like working in a cafe and stuff. So, you know my. My voice is just not as, uh, I don't know, 
well used as it used to be? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you guys have had a, a good weekend and a good start to your week. Mine has been relaxed. Um, I think we should probably head into the game. So let me, we'll switch this around. Let me open up the game. I have to minimize a bunch of windows. <clears throat> do, do, do. Okay. Um, wait, where is it? There we go. All right. It uh, helped you get through work. Yeah. I had uh, my weekend was a little long too, but that's because we, uh, my husband and I went up for my uh, and saw my friend for his thirtieth birthday, and uh, they got matching tattoos. It's very cute. Um, but it was a long day. Yeah, it was very fun. Um, we had lots of good pizza, we got to play some games, we watched some movies. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we're all uh, young millennials. But I feel like an old man, so. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Hey, that's exciting. A December baby, wow. Well, happy early birthday. But 20 is exciting, that's a, that's a fun year. Okay. Move this over here. Okay. <clears throat> that's good. Uh you know, it's 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 okay to be nervous, but good to be excited about your birthday. You know, it it can be stressful getting older. Yeah, boys time. All right. Oh, and the other thing is, I've got the uh, last vod for um, Dark Side ready to upload tomorrow on the YouTube channel. And I got all fancy and I made um, some nice little thumbnails. I'm very excited about that. Um, I think right now I'm gonna be uploading YouTube videos for on um, Wednesday and Thursdays. Um, but I might change it around, we'll see. All right, so last time we did Malice in Wonderland and Tome Alone. Um, now time for the Disorient Express. I hope Selena got her audio set back up in time. I know she was excited for this dream too. Let me just check some stuff really quick before I start. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, there we go. The Disorient Express. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Start investigation. Detective, you're here! I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Case? No. I just needed a ride. Station's closed. Closed? Yeah. Some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. A spooky train? Yep. Spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the dark side division. Do you not think... <laughs> I try not to. That's detective work. 
he's got a point. Starting up strong already. <laughs> hmm? Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. Oh, I love donuts. Now I'm gonna want donuts later? That's not right. All right. Squad car, are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. What a, what a mood, Dooley. <laughs> honk honk. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. 66 Sixth Street. Sixth Street. Hmm. Okay. Um. Aha. Oh, wait. Let's talk to Julie. Let's get on with this waste of time. Nothing happening here. Investigation then. Down into the subway. Cops is dumb. Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah. Kid. Oh, Dooley. Got the ticket machine. Flickering light. Flickering lights always suggest spooky hijinks. I'm gonna turn my volume down a second. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. The game is always so loud in my ears. <laughs> oh, Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make use of my police privileges. Hmm. Do you use the subway often? No. Before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. <laughs> Snob. What? Hmm? Did you say something just then? What? Me? No. 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 Oh, Dooley. I imagine taxis would get expensive fast. Sorry, detective. The barrier's broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No. The insurance for jumping was too high. <laughs> We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. It never is. <gasps> hey, we could see a ghost without the viewfinder. Oh. <laughs> Unky Sam don't want you to know about the truths I'm here to show, so it makes me frown. And I smell a smell me a pig and his dumb sidekick come to shut me down. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license. Oscar the Grouch. Pig. <laughs> I like Oscar. He's good. Oh. See? It's just spooky. Generically spooky. Nothing special about it. Let's go get donuts. I agree, Dooley. Let's get donuts. Dooley, it's glowing. Maybe it's pregnant? <laughs> A pregnant train. Eerie train. There's something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. Do you have a ticket, sir? Sorry, who are you? Conductor get Train's conductor, sir. Right. You look a tad... Ghostly, sir? That I do, that I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one. They can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Oh, God. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job keep, to keep the passengers safe while, the tr while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the Bright Side Division are looking into it right now. Br bright Side Division? Bright Side Division. Right. Hmm. Bright side division. I don't know if I like that. I'm I'm a little scared to see what the dark side version of Dooley and McQueen are. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train's stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the track, sir. Would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave my post here. Ticket? Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. 
Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Come back anytime, sir. Interesting. Solids. I feel like that's a slur from the dark side. To the platform. <laughs> I know! The audacity! How dare he slur at us! I wonder if this camera caught any useful footage, but I can see that the working light is painted on. I've seen those before. I've worked in a place like that before. The plunger, but without the plungy bit. So a stick then? I have a ha I have a handle! I have a handle on the situation, Dooley. I'm handling it so well. Bin. Hmm. Seems to be something in here. I received a receipt! Oh wait, we have to inspect. Two more of these and I can have a mediocre juggling act. Ooh, perfect. Click the wrench. Wait, which... The control room? Hold on. Receipt. Glowing green receipt that says, For pickup. I can't read much else on it. Let's go in the control room. Control room is locked. For now. Dooley. Oh, come on, detective. You know as well as I do that these how these things go. Yeah. To the toilets. <gasps> A rat! How precious. More flickering lights. <laughs> it's okay. It wouldn't be a dodgy underground bathroom without a flickering light. It also wouldn't be a secret rave venue. I really want to know what Dooley knows about secret raves. Hmm? What was that? No, nothing, detective. Hmm. I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Whatever happens in here, detective, don't cross the streams. <laughs> I am sure there is a fan fiction. Oh boy. Oh, pirate. I wanted to be friends. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> Spooky hoverer. <laughs> Surprisingly not really. Um hi hi there. Oh, sorry. Door was unlocked. Y yeah, lock's broken. I have no feet to hold against it. Right. Well, I'll uh, leave you to it. Well, hold up, daddy -o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out? Ahem. What is it? Stall has no toilet paper, daddy -o, and I'm a cat that needs some. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sure we could look. Bit of a bind, daddy -o. Dooley, what do you think? I don't feel comfortable with any of this. You and me both, daddy -o. Yeah, that's... Let's go. <laughs> what on earth is that? Not sure, but I think we can... We should send it back to wherever it came. Good. No use. You could say that it is a... That it is in tentacle on staying where it is. Eh? 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 I need to find something to push this down with. I have a stick, but nothing to poke it with. That's some lazy graffiti. I always put in more effort when tagging the subways. What? You heard me, narc. <laughs> Still no toilet paper. I've heard of sewer gators, but sewer cephalopods will go down a, a treat on my conspiracy blog. You have a conspiracy blog? Yeah. Deluminationcom I write about important stuff like the world lizards, crop dusting, and how the moon is fake. I want to Google that site. I want that site to be real so bad. Every time, Deluminati. Hold on. Don't mind me. Don't. It's fine. How do I spell things? Illumination. I wanna 
to Illuminati. I want it to be real. Oh my god, it's real, you guys. Okay, hold on. It's real. <laughs> the Illuminati. The truth is somewhere. Oh my god. I will look at that later. I will look at that later because I don't want to deal with any p potential spoilers. Ooh, breakfast rice. Tasty. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm going to explore that site later. Hi, Selena. I'm glad you got your stuff fixed. You haven't missed much. Uh, there's a spooky train from the dark side stuck in the subway and they called us a slur. Uh, it was solids because they are not. And we have now learned that there is uh, the bright side division in the dark side, which is concerning to me. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> yeah, correct. Also, we tried to flush this tentacle. It refused to leave. Yeah. And there's also a ghost man in the other toilet, hovering on the toilet, uh, with no toilet paper. And we're trying to find him toilet paper. Also, we have a toilet plunger handle and a receipt. The moon is fake? Oh yeah, not only did we not land there, but there doesn't even exist. Who would lie about that and why? The moon people from the real moon behind the fake one. Why don't you write more about the stuff we see? Sure, who'd care about a boring old train when there are moon people filling our heads with lies? I love you, Dooley. Also, rat! <laughs> ah! Hold on. Yeah, good. Gotta keep it clean. The noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned at the Dark Side Division. Dooley, that's so bad. Why do you always follow me into these tight spaces? Well, you know what they say about friends in tight spaces? No. Me neither. <laughs> They're just best buds. Definitely not standing six feet apart. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. <laughs> I have to assume there are a decent amount of trapped in closet fix. Cheap sandpaper cleverly, cleverly disguised as toilet paper. Yeah, that's accurate. And I bet it's only one ply. Only three? I got, I think after this game I might have to, maybe after the second game, I might have to look up and read some of the fan fictions. <laughs> I haven't read fan fiction in a while. But maybe this will be the time. That's a shame. Ooh. Feel free to post any of those in uh, the Discord, and I will definitely look at them, because I do love good reading. Hey, Daddios, did you get that toilet paper for me? Heck off. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. All right, Daddy-o. Here, take this coin as thanks. A cult coin. Ooh, it's got a little face on it. An evil-looking coin about the size of a quarter. That's okay. I am okay with the occasion. So the Discord is supposed to be safe for work. Um, but like in Discord. <laughs> So we can't be talking about like graphic shit in there, but if you want to post some safe links to, you know, some fan fictions that are not safe for work, that is okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'll still read them. All right. I have to get the rat every time. I wish I could. Uh... I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Alright, so we need a key for that. 
Don't have anything for. Can I poke it with a handle? Platform. Ah, because we got. Maybe the occult coin is for the. No. Ah, here we go. There is not a chance in hell that this will work. Oh, ye of little faith, McQueen. Oh, right. Of course. Ticket! A train ticket I purchased with strange coin that Darksider gave me. I love that. Hey, buddy! We have- I do have a ticket. Oh, you do. Only, it's just that you look a little... a little... Don't get offended, sir, but you look a little healthy. Anyway, please hand it over when ready, sir. Hopefully it's for both of us. Here you go. One ticket. Fine. On you go, then, I suppose. Board! Oh, wait. Is there anything else out this way? No. Okay. I will admit, my brain is not fully here yet this... <laughs> here yet? I, uh, I went to make coffee this morning. Mate got my breakfast ready. Turned around, ready to pour my coffee. It was just water. I had forgotten to put the ground coffee into the coffee maker. <sighs> so, uh, that's how my brain has been today. <laughs> oh yes, it was fine, like, you just dump the water out, put the coffee grounds in, start it over again. But you know, if I'm a little slow on the uptake today, it's uh, one of those days. Party guy! I like your glasses. Da, They're my party goggles. On your way to party? Always, darling. Every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Even here, now, we party on the train. I'm trying to get better accents. Hippie girl. Well, hello there. Hiya! Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Frankenstein Cisco, obviously. But then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. So, well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky, nobody's being followed by shadow men, and nothing is on fire. Nothing! Maybe you're not the girl for me. Hippie gal. Granny. Nanny Dooley? Is that you? Sorry, dearie. I'm Granny Gooley. You do look a little like my Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too! Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did! I spy with my little eye, the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore are flooding the streets. I don't... I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favorite. Granny? <laughs> Granny, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay, Granny? <laughs> Everyone here is so sick looking. They're not sick, they're transparent. I can see right through them. I've always been impressed with your scrutiny skills. <laughs> Not the granny! <laughs> A dark side portal. It appears we found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be. Dooley, what are you doing? Reading it, it's right. And how exactly do you tend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. <laughs> hey, you know, if that's how they live and they're good with it, that's fair. That's their normal. Did you ever see that documentary about cannibals that live in the subway tunnels? No. Me either, which I regret now. Dooley, there are no cannibals in the subway. You don't know that. You didn't see the documentary. Neither did you, Dooley. 
guess it's time to go through to the dark side again. <gasps> Gasp! Our hair's less on our head and more on our face. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm gonna need a second pair of handcuffs. Created. It's it's moving. It's alive. And he's not. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Anything else? Cool. Oh, and it's a real world train. Okay. Agent McScream. You look familiar. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the the wind? Rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. So, you're an agent here? We are all agents of the never ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy, happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Good. Any idea what's going on here? Interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities, things that should not have come to pass, tracks of chaos intertwined. So not much of an idea right now then? No. <laughs> so, receding hairline, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all, entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. McQueen. <laughs> you shouldn't say these things. I'd best be going. We had all best be going to the places we would best be at. I feel like that's like almost inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Dooley? This is one heck of a light show they've got going on down here. Dooley, they're portals to the dark side. We're in the dark side, right now. So sassy. Of course it's dark. We're underground. That's probably why they've lit it up like this. <sighs> Bless him. I really like Agent McScream. He's a little dramatic, and that's fun. Finally, somebody in authority. Hi, Raxa. Hey! Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? I'm very excited to see the other one. Raxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from college. Then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. Uh, he means... No, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Will do. Oh, honey. <laughs> See? These people look healthier. That's because they're alive, Dooley. Playing video games, listening to music, indulging in mind-altering substances. I guess they are living life to the fullest. Dooley, you're a cop. You shouldn't... You... Okay. Sure, buddy. Any, up <laughs> Any updates, detective? Still investigating, Rexa. Okay, well, if I can be any of help, just let me know. Headphones. Hello? Doo -da 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 -da. Wonder if he even knows what's going on. Stay back, monster! Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who chooses. <laughs> oh, Mick Scream is gonna eat you. <laughs> yes, I've I have realized that he is uh, he only has morals when it comes to to McQueen, which, you know, fair. I get that. What's going on here? You're you're not you're really not him. I. I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time. Then some weird lights flashed and now we're here. Wherever here is. 
Who's this man you keep talking about? He... he looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all now that I see you. Properly see you. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. That's good. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mixing up earlier. Waster! Hey, dude. I've been on this train for, like, ages. What's going on? I'm afraid... Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at literally... I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. Dude. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. <laughs> they have not. Good. I love that. Anything else? Okay. Oh, we already did that. All right, to the dark side platform. I should probably stay with these people, make sure they're okay. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Dang it, Dooley. Oh my God, he's got a mustache. Oh, he looks so fancy. Oh, love this busker. Land sickly, sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. Ghost cop. Now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we've got plotting about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Gooley, chief of the Brightside Division. Brightside? Division, specialists, deal with threats from your neck of the woods, so as to speak. My neck of the woods? The other world, that which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective. I'll bite one down on his luck. Hey! I presume, that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this situation? I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This is your jurisdic jurisdiction, and we sh you should leave this to us professionals. And take care of our train, back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Sir! <laughs> you are not fun. <laughs> This is a restricted area. Classified personnel only. Are you classified personnel? No, I did not think so. On account of myself and McScream being the only ones who is. So unless you is one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. Fine. To the stairs. Ooh, gross. Mold. Oh, interesting. They spell it with a you. I wonder if they're Canadian. The, uh, developers. Might have to look at that. Oh. Irish. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Also, sorry. I was popping all my joints. I should have muted my mic. <laughs> oh, I also love how everything is always mirrored in the, uh, dark side. That's kind of a fun little touch. Yeah, that was mostly my right hand. <laughs> Let's look at the mold. A dark patch of fuzzy mold. I think it's looking at me. Oh, good. Oh, oh no. We're gonna wear that, aren't we? Oh, good. Good. I'm so excited. Is this, is this machine crying? Oh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. <laughs> what horrors could possibly make news here? Mayor points off camera. <laughs> How dare he? 
how little I know about how this place works. They could sell costumes or turn you into one. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. Hurt my eyes just to look. Oh, I wanna come back. I need to click on you. Uh, hey, what the hell was that? <gasps> look skyward. Spot this dark, dark side sky beast. I did it. It's the ever after. <gasps> they all lived happily ever after. Ooh boy. <laughs> Trains do not run on time. They run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Some things are universal, I suppose. That's true. Ah! Help! I'm on fire! What on earth? Ah! I'm a burning trash barrel. I'm meant to be on fire, you gonk. Look at your face. Brilliant. I, I'm not even... All right, sure. Let's go look at costumes. Hmm, there's some good options in here. If you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, you may be wanted by the police for questioning. What a weird wanted sign. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press gang. <laughs> biker outfit. Be a badass biker. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. <laughs> Assuming your ass is bad, either in the dangerous sense or the missing a buttock way, your call. Did you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is to just leave him be. That's my usually party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up for me. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> If you know what games they're referencing, I would love to know. Indecipherable blocks coming soon to a theater near you. Sir, I'll ask you mighty nice not to. Not but once. Keep your sausage fingers from my money box. Sorry, man. Dressed like a punk or a road warrior from the future. Or a... Could you... You could wear this and be a... I don't know. A carrot? Well, I'm convinced like carrot top. <laughs> What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir? Why, that's the very pillar Summers were built on. Sir, a friend and mentor to those in need, a shoulder to cry on, a person who will live in a wood hut with no air conditioning, the legendary camp counselor, sir. <laughs> Good. Nobody would buy that as a camp counselor. Oh, but they do, sir. It's a mustache, sir. Shows them to be rugged wildermen. Suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counselor. Not for timid folk like you and I, no sir. Not for shop vendors and coat warmers, no. I do have a receipt. I'm still looking at stuff. It's full of ones and zeros. How would anyone wear these? Says sir, while wearing a brown bin bag. Come on, guy. This is a nice coat. And they say the customer's always right. Oh. Eh, an invisible person. Welcome, sir. That's our, that is to say, me and I's. Pleasure to welcome you to the costumes, costume shop. So that is the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fella said. And if it is broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, he, he'd add. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct supervisor or superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? Hey. <laughs> I wondered if it was Monkey Island. Okay, I know I know the first one. I haven't heard of the other two. But that's fun. I like that they put that in there. Hey! That's our motto. Whatever your shame, spider's got you covered. That's a good motto. Alright, here, have a receipt. One tick, sir. Oh, Miss Biscotti. 
I does beg your pardon, miss. I should have known. Obvious to me now it is. Mm. I'll get your items for you now, miss. Oh, um, oh, um, yes, thanks. And here you go, miss. One swim cap. Thanks, I guess. Good. An almost skin-colored swimming cap. Patch of mold so fuzzy, it looks like hair. Now I can... I guess I can dress up as Agent Miss Cream. Mix Cream, whenever I want. Yay. Bad disguise. Let's go outside. Now can I put it on? Do I have to go downstairs to put it on? Let's go downstairs. How about now? Downstairs. How about now? Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it a disguise. Time to try whatever this is out, I guess. Beautiful. He's perfect. I love it. Alright, Chief Ghoulie. Do you think, son, that I've not seen my share of disguises? This one is particularly poor. What with it partially made up of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality? Well, it was worth a shot. It was. I wish that agent I was sent was so innovative. I tell you what, son. In you go. Maybe you can solve this thing after all. What about jurisdiction? <laughs> jurisdiction. All paperwork is up a solution. Now, off you go. Off you Before I change my mind. Right. Thanks. To the platform. All right. It's full of pictures of you playing a game where a tiny pixel man looks in a trash can at pictures of you. I hurt my brain a little. I wish they wouldn't. <laughs> to the toilets! Looking good, Frankie. I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, Reflection. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. I don't like that. Bless you. It's nailed shut. Ugh. I hope that barring holds. This place looks familiar. Either that's a clue or there is one lazy artist hanging around here. <laughs> I wonder if the tentacle will pop up. Hmm. The water goes both clockwise and clock counterclockwise here. Seems to be something stuck in there. That's better. Thanks. Or er, I mean, flush. Hey! Get in there. Ultimate accessory and toilet debungification. We got a plunger. A plunger for plunging things. Alright. Looks like he hung in there for too long. Oh no! Who doesn't like having keys? Boink. Key's label says, control room. A note saying, she loathes me, she loathes me not. Nice, healthy relationship. All systems operating correctly. Everything seems to be working correctly here. Let's not touch anything in case I change that. Escape. All right. <clears throat> Evening. Making progress. Working on it. Good. Keep it up, son. Let's talk to these people. Okay, I already talked to him. Okay.
Well, what do you think, Dooley? Let's go back to the tracks. What's that you have there? It's smells of evidence to me, but you shall not take it beyond this place. Looks like I'll have to put this key back until I find some other way to get it past him. Ah, I know. I'm gonna flush it. Flush that sucker down the toilet. This place looks familiar. it in the other toilet? <laughs> did- did you just say flush? No? You definitely did. I'm a detective. I don't miss out on things like talking toilets. Ah, oh, you got me. I can talk big whoop. Just do your business and move on. I ain't breaking no laws, cop. I'm okay, thanks. Talking toilet, huh? I thought I had a crappy job. Give me a break, it pays the bills. Besides, I got dreams, man. I'm gonna be a star. Dreams? I'm gonna be a comedian, man. Wanna hear a joke? As long as they're not too crappy. Everyone's a comedian. Forget it, man. Hey, can you take this? Seriously, I wanna hear one of your jokes. Okay. Why wouldn't Rex bark? He was goldfish. Hilarious. Ha ha ha. Can you take this to key? Can you flush this to the other side for me? What, you think just because I can talk I'm magical? Sorry man, you're on your own. What if I plunger your face? Get that away from me! <sighs> Back for more? Go on. Why did the guy throw the butter out the window? You wanted to see a butterfly! Can't stay away, can you? One more. What do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky? No, you call it a donkey. It's a physical disability. Or it's physical disability should have no bearing on how you see it, you monster. I, uh, hmm. Okay, I love John. John's great. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Here's one for you. What's green and smelly? It always comes back to toilet humor with you humans. John for president. Oh look, Mr. Potty Mouth is back. It was just a joke. I forgive you, man. I'd hate to be a party pooper. But I'm I'm here all week. Try the veal. I'm joking, don't try the veal. This is a bathroom, not a fancy restaurant. I'm going now. I don't blame you. No, I'm done with this guy. Besides, I have a case to solve, but toilet humor. Listen to all of John's gags. But he needs to eat this key. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I have to, I was just about to go. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oops. I'm guessing I have to put the key back and then go back to the not dark side. Ah, oh, you're right, I do have the plunger now. Uh, platform. Stairs. Mr. Bright side. No, wait, where am I going? That's the wrong way. That, oh gosh. <sighs> Come on, Dooley. All right, to the bathroom. Oh wait, we can't, we shouldn't plunder him. That would be rude. All right, come here, you tentacle. Right, you little sucker. Ah, sucker, tentacles, very good. I should be helping, shouldn't I? It's <laughs> a great song. I wonder where the wee fella is now. Alright, now I'm assuming we go- oh, hold on. 
Gotta collect the rat. I assume we go back. Ayo, hey, there's my little Wrigley buddy. So this is where I sent you at. Here, hey, hold on to that. Hold on to this will for me, will you, buddy? Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. You're like, I got a key. Ah. All right. Get back in there. When I plunge you, Dave. Remember that I will plunge you with love. <laughs> What a line. Bye, Dave. <laughs> He's just the best tentacle. Good old Dave. Oh gosh, wait. I'm brain farting really hard. Clicking too fast. <laughs> we love Dave. I agree. He is the best. Hi, Dave! Look, he's waving at us. He's so happy to see us. Thanks, Dave. Did you name the tentacle Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. Aww. You're so cute. Alright. Control room. I wonder if the doors use the same key. I just noticed there's no security camera in the dark side. Seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh, what? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the out from the inside. Don't speak in the third person. This is your handiwork, I take it. They shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. Told him he did. His black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts aren't for old Tam. Heavy sleeper it is. Book him, Dooley. I left my book at the station. Can I use these handcuffs instead? <sighs> Tam is an interesting man. Get out of there, guy. I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. Terrible things. Nice rack. <laughs> Detective? Yeah? Have we tried turning it off and back on again? Which? The computer? I was gonna say the train station, but what you said makes more sense. <laughs> Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. Looks like this place was a scene of some occultic goings-on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas, though, which is nice. Old Tam always was fond of Christmas. Pappy used to buy us all trains and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. Oh, buddy. <laughs> People will think twice about firing old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you, too. Wait, what? Computer. Warning. Virus detective. That is some bad hoodoo. Tam must have installed an occult virus on the controls, because that's causing all these problems. Hmm. Let's do it. An old floppy disk just popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. I know who to take this to. Cursed disk. Three and a half inches of innuendo laden evil. <laughs> Good. Ugh. Alright, I think we need to go give this to Raxa. Stay here, Dooley. Make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then, how is old Tam meant to escape? That- that's the point. Oh, well that ain't fair. Alright. Back. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? Okay. Enjoy your hairline.
Any updates, detective? Hmm. Rexa, think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I could probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for, thanks. So, what do I do? You need to clean the infection disk sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected uh, sectors into clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To be the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I've made a backup. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. It's one of these. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna fix it that fast. <laughs> I'm magical. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just one of those things about, like, games like this where, like, some people, you know, like, on that last mini game they had at the library where it took me, like, five, ten minutes to fi figure out that one, like, pipe puzzle. That's just how it is. I just started randomly clicking. So. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult, but I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain, mountain, a mountain of parking tickets. Thanks to Rexa, this outdated disc should do undo this technomancy mischief. Uh, technomancy. Alright. Uh, no. We need to- no, wait. Oh no. I've lost my mind. I swear, that's gonna be like the best part of this stream is me getting that in like five seconds. Uploading antivirus now. Yay! Great work, detective. You've got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No? <sighs> Let's get this guy to the sills. Ahahaha! <laughs> how you gonna get me there, train ant running? We just- we just talked about how that was fixed. Weren't you listening? Hmm. Plus, we have this car. It's not about a good day for Tam. <laughs> Case closed! Ticket to ride! We did it. Oh, it unlocked. Okay, cool. I feel like that one went a lot faster than the second case, but I'm not sure. Yay! Yeah, we did it! With minimal issues. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I think now is a good time to take a short little break. So I'm gonna take a five minute break. Get up, stretch, get a little snack. I suggest y'all do the same. And then we'll come back and we will start police farce. And if I feel okay, we will finish it, finish that case today. Um, hopefully it's not super long. Yeah, I doubt we'll, we'll beat farce insanely quickly. Um, Cause these have been looking like about an hour each case. Um, but the last one I imagine went a little faster than it could have gone. So yeah. Yeah, I figured they get a little bit longer each time. So we'll we'll start Police Farce today and hopefully finish it. Um, 
so stream will probably go a little bit longer than two hours, but that's fine. I don't, I don't have anything else today. Um, and hopefully, uh, with the tea and, you know, some voice exercises, my throat will hang in there. Alright, so let's get some music going. All right. Yeah, we'll see. Sometimes my brain just doesn't work as quickly. And it's, and it's that classic thing of like when you're streaming or recording something, sometimes you just you miss stuff. It's harder for you to think of what's going on because you're not just playing by yourself. You know, you've got an audience and all of that. So but we'll see. It should be fine. So I'm going to take a five minute break and I will be back then. If you hear any weird sounds in the background, my neighbors are clunking around and I heard a dog barking, so I apologize for any weird background noises that happen. <sighs> yeah, I might have to go get Chinese food tonight because you talking you guys talking about rice and orange chicken. Oh man. just sounds so nice. <clears throat> All right. Do we eat? I just might. You know, I haven't gotten Chinese in a while because my husband is not as big on Chinese. It's usually too crazy for him, which is totally fair. But that means that I don't get it that often, even though there's a panda like five, ten minutes from my house. So I might go drive through there after the stream because that'll be probably close to like five-ish, maybe 5.30 my time. Because it is currently 3.48 here. So. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. Soon. Soon. You only have, what? You've got a... What day is it? You've got less than a month. Oh my god. <clears throat> less than a month and then you got... Dude. You've been dealing with some shit this year. Oh, I, I'm excited for you to be able to eat good food again. Or at least, uh, food with fats in it. Oh. But three weeks. That is, that is, uh, approaching very quickly. All right. Let's get back into the game. Just double check that I got everything going. Okay. Get some chapstick on because I realize my lips are dry. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> So we just finished Disorient Express, and now we are gonna head into Police Farce. I'm also wondering how many like little hidden um, achievements there are, like talking, talk, talking, talking to uh, the toilet, John. Um, I, I'm curious, so we will see. Today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. Oh, oh honey, that's not going to stay that way. <laughs> you ready, detective? Huh? For McNugget's retirement party, the caterer has arrived with a cake. Grab your gift and let's go. G gift? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry. 
I put your name on my gift. It's from us. Oh my god, that's so precious. These boys. Oh, Dooley, you're so sweet. So thoughtful. What a classic move. Oh, I get to explore the, the office. But you gotta get a new light. My notes from open cases. The downtown Gulliman, a possibly undead flasher. <laughs> Mirror Jane, a woman appearing in mirrors to other women who look exactly like her. Lichen toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair, which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be werewolves? I like that one. That's great. I would love a lichen to Imagine <laughs> the pinning or the confession. <laughs> yeah. The pining, sorry, not pi pinning. Yeah, that's so fucking sweet. Just like, I know you were gonna fit, forget, so it's from both of us. It's very cute. This is my life now. My trusty coat goes with everything from a shirt and tie to sportswear. This computer has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. This was a gift from my old mentor. Sergeant McDesk. <laughs> My folders of weird goings on in Twin Lakes. My various attempts to file reports for the things I've seen <laughs> in the bin. This is Twin Lakes FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, bringing you Dick Brickman Presents the Weather with me, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman, presenting Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. <laughs> I like him. When all this dark side of st stuff is put to bed, I'm gonna go see the world. I actually don't know what's in these. The keys were lost before this became my office. I feel like that's gonna become relevant later on. Alright, Dooley. Hurry up! Cake! I agree. Let us go. Why is this broken? Maybe the motor is bust? I'll have a look at this later. Fan motor. There's a magnet in here if I can find a way to pop over the tiny latch. Mmm, cake. Maybe I'll make okay, now I have now I have an entire meal plan for tonight. I'll go out and get panda for Chinese. And then Later tonight, when I have a sweet tooth craving, I'll make myself a mug cake to satisfy the sweet tooth. <laughs> it's perfect. I don't remember this place being so run down. A glass of cold, refreshing- nope. This is warm and oddly colored. Yum. Ooh, have a mini- what kind of- what kind of- what flavor of bunk cake was it? Was it like chocolate? Was it vanilla? Was- I, I need to know- was it frosted? Tell me your dessert deliciousness. Oh, I love Oreo scream. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Oh, beautiful. I love that for you. I fucking love Oreos. I could eat Oreos all the time and I shouldn't. <laughs> Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Ooh, coffee and pie? Hell yeah. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Coffee. Java, Sweet Joe, Black Oil, Uncle Moo Moo's Morning Surprise, The Liquid Viper, Coffee. I feel like one of those was weird. <laughs> uh, do you think I'll, ha I'll have my own office someday? I hope so, buddy. I hope so. So we got Queen's office. Kings! <laughs> King and Queen. Is, is it a lady? Wow. Queen's doing well for herself. <laughs> this place is fabulous. One day you could be as important as this. You just gotta get yourself that first case. I solve cases all the time. Arresting a giant marshmallow man. It's not a case. It's the result of too much coffee. Best hair on the force. Okay, I'll give him that one. 
This one looks homemade. Best at not being the queen. That's rude. Helmet trophy. And the king won this for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Oh, we're just gonna take- oh. Oh. But I want to wear it. I want it. Ugh. Without any- oh, so you're saying it's possible. I'm gonna remember that. Hopefully. The king and the chief. I guess they're- I guess these are the photos you get when you get- when you're married to the mayor. That sounds... Very, uh, nepotism adjacent. Ah, I, I hope- I, I will look forward to wearing that helmet, because this is going to be great. There's space in here for a pottery wheel? <laughs> Selena, <laughs> wheel! <laughs> uh, you should- you should honestly get back into ceramics. But also, putting a pottery wheel in, like, an uh, office sounds like such a bad idea because I just imagine all of the clay getting everywhere. You get a tiny miniature one. You make little tiny cups, like little mini, like little bud faces and stuff. Or like shot glasses. Or like cat food bowls. You know? Small stuff. His machine has an off button. Impressive. Support specs. Fancy. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. This place is fam- oh yeah, we already wrote, wrote, read that. All right, let's go. I'm gonna tear that cake a new one. Don't do that in front of people. Detective Wisinski. No talk. Working. Friendly as ever, Wisinski. Go away. The pressure seems gone. Should fix it before it's needed. We're just picking up all the stuff. I guess I should inspect. Apart from the, hair, the hole in the air supply, the King's Trophy is actually a working airtight helmet. If I found a tube, I could get this back in action. Fire extinguisher with no pressure. Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. Alright, Murakami. Uh, I love that. There is a Japanese artist. I don't remember his first name, but his last name is Murakami. And he does this fucking wild art with like weird anime characters and mushrooms. And it's very strange and I love it. Broken wires. Murakami won't care if they're gone. Yoink! Murakami's broken headphone wires. A reminder of what to get him for his birthday. Can we slot that in there? Fair. Alright. Seems Murakami has set a new high score in whatever he's playing. Damn it! How am I meant to get better than him if you keep making me do work? Tell me that, eh? Stairwell debriefing room. Let's go to the stairwell. Detective, the party isn't that way. Oh, nice! I- oh, he's so weird. I love him. I- I got to go see one of their- his, uh, art exhibits years and years ago. Um, it was so neat. Oh, man. I, uh, I ended up buying a little- one of his little sunflowers as, like, a keychain. I wonder where that went. I gotta find that. It was very cute. Or maybe I'll just crochet myself a new one. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard. Fine. All right. To the deep briefing room. Oh, good. Fire! You're meant to say surprise, detective, not fire. Dooley, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. <sighs> well, let's talk to other people first. Dooley, there's a fire. This party is on fire! <laughs> Inoki! Oh, that's what it was! You are alive. 
That fucking video was insane. <laughs> we use the same banner for every retirement. Budgets have to be cut somewhere, detective. <gasps> Chief Scully! Oh, Chief. Chief, I love you. I, f I love your work. <laughs> now I want to watch... Uh... Oh no, my brain. Oh no, my brain. Oh, brain. Oh no, come back. Oh. Thank you, X-Files. My brain farted so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, I really want to watch The X-Files again. <laughs> you heard it. You heard all of the little cogs and wheels just clunking onto the ground out of, uh, out of place. Heard the alarm start beeping. Do slashed budgets explain why the sprinkler system isn't putting out that fire? That's interesting. Why don't you go do some detecting work, detective? <laughs> <laughs> like a big old gust. <laughs> I bet she's drunk. I'm gonna devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. But chief... Really? Is the cake really more important than the fire? Actually, who brought the fire? We discussed this last time. No more gifts of fire. Goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Why are the sprinklers broken? What's going on here? <sighs> Officer Murakami. I love all the booze we have at these things. What about the fu- Keep your complaining to yourself, Killjoy. <laughs> Two days left to retirement and I'm in a room with a control uncontrolled fire. Just like the old- Not gonna say that word, woman said. Unfortunately, that word is a slur. <laughs> um, the preferred word is Romani, so I will refuse to say that word. And like, I understand, they're not gonna go back and change one word in a game. I get that. It's just unfortunate. But here we are. All right, let's, I guess, oh no, I, you know what? I wanna look at the whiteboard first. This is no time for reading whiteboards. But I want a, a cork pin board covered in paper. 100% fire fuel. I need to get this in check and soon. Pile of gifts. The gifts are on fire and nobody seems to care. Damn drunken cops. All right. Well, I don't think we can do this. I need to repressurize this first. That's what I thought. Okay. I'm. I appreciate the help. Um, but I'm gonna ask you to not say things before I ask for help. Um, just because I haven't even clicked on everything in the room yet, but I appreciate the gun. No, you're good. You're good. I just, you know. Hey, I want an extra cream on my slice. I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> okay. I can 100% say this is not something I expected to do today. Have you guys ever used... Have you ever used those, um, like metal whipped cream dispensers where you like make it in the can and then you put on one of the um what the fuck are they called the little air canisters those things are nasty like <laughs> the pressure inside of those is wild and so dangerous <laughs> but it makes real good whipped cream it's like um we had them at the cafe i was working at because we used whipped cream on stuff and uh, you would basically make a mixture of like heavy cream and some vanilla and a little bit of sugar um, and then you would twist on the canister lid and then you would have these like compressed air capsules that they use on like things like um, like paintball guns <laughs> and then they'd um, you twist that on you'd shake it and then you just have whipped cream and it's this big metal canister. I'll, let me see if I can find out what they're called. I forget what they're called. But those things are dangerous. I remember one day uh, a new guy went to go clean one out. And he didn't take off the air canister first and then just untwisted the lid. And the lid shot off and dented the ceiling. Ooh.
Yeah, just look up whipped cream canister and it's these big metal canisters. They're fun to use, but like if you don't depressurize them before taking off the lid, it can be a disaster. <laughs> okay, let's let's put out this fire. That's taken care of. Wait, what's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Dooley, what the fuck? Dooley, where did you get that? In that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week. Investigated. We investigated it. For gremlins. That seems like racial profiling to me. Dooley. We clearly ha he clearly had gremlins, which you then bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Dooley, the lid was burnt off. The gremlins are missing. And the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, case closed. Dooley, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But cake. But cake. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. Bless his heart. From what I can see, nobody else got him anything nice anyway. Takeout menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work-related here at all, at all. It's a party, guy. Relax. It's the donut and coffee rota. Important stuff. That's true. I'm gonna devour that thing. All right. I don't understand why we're celebrating it. I've got two days left till retirement. We can't risk you not making it and us losing out on a party. I should be offended, but I do like a good party. <laughs> Detective. Didn't you see the fire, Chief? Of course, it was right there. And you didn't do anything? What can I do? If people want to re-gift the fires I got them last month, then let them. Oh, honey. Wait, y you were the one who set those fires around the station last month? They were be beacons of hope, all very metaphorical and Gondor related. They were real fires. Metaphors can be very real. <laughs> oh, good. Chief, why is Bikini's office so much nicer than mine? You think our barely legal goblins and ghouls division should have a bigger office than the mayor's husband? Just be glad you're not down in the basement. Thanks for supporting the dark side division, Chief. Don't thank me, just keep this city clean of those oogie boogie men. And the oogie boogie women. And the non-binary oogie boogies. No discrimination in regards to oogie boogies. Except for the discrimination of keeping them out of Twin Lakes. Apart from that one, yes. <laughs> Think there may be gremlins loose in this station? Seriously? We just talked about this. You have one job. One job! No oogie boogies in Twin Lakes. The station is in Twin Lakes. Get the situation under control, de detective. On it, chief. No party for you two until this mess is cleaned up. Get to it. Oh, <laughs> Look at him holding the little canister. We need to find those gremlins, Dooley. Alright, anything else? Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, bullpen. Well, let's go back to the offices. <clears throat> well, I'm not seeing any gremlins yet. Let's go to the stairwell. And he said, hey, that's my kid's candy. Give it back. 
So I told him I was the mayor's husband, then showed him my badge and fined him for obstruction of justice. Oh, you're so bad. Oh, goodness. What a guy. All right, let's look around. <clears throat> a garage, shooting range, evidence room. That'll be us one day, detective. You'll be McKing, and I'll be Dallas. Hmm. You, you know what I mean. Oh, precious. Yeah, I think, I think McQueen is the closest to sane, but he's got to be at least a little crazy to be functioning in this weird town. <laughs> For sure. There's no way around it. <clears throat> All right, Dallas. It must be so great for you to have a real detective like McKing around to learn from. <sighs> Hi, McKing. I don't have time to talk to you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be arresting? That's not what... Whatever, make lame. Live long and prosper, dork. That's a rude guy. Bathroom. The staff bathroom. So horrible. People only enter for the most dire of emergencies. Evidence room. Hands off, McLame. Something's broken the evidence door. Probably you and your idiot sidekick's fault. I'm gonna fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is enough sweetness for me. Oh, you're so bad. I hate that man. But he's so dreamy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I don't like him either. He's a bit of a chad. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll give him the stupid... Cut down, Dooley. Calm down. Put it in your pants. Keep it in... Keep it in your pants. Not put any... It. It's fine. I knew you were good for something, McLame. Yeah, have your coffee. Alright. Well, let's go to reception. <gasps> There's a dog! Oh, Officer Cal! Officer Cal? He was meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. But think of all the candy-related crimes he's been able to help solve. True, we did have an alarmingly high rate of candy smuggling in Tr Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. Oh, he's so precious. Oh. Now that I don't need it, I find a working extinguisher. Irony. First aid kit. There's nothing in here but laxatives. Somebody put them there to suggest us cops are all footed full of Twin Lakes City Police Department. How can I help direct your call? Oh good, laxatives. There's an inevitable outcome to this item that I don't love. Same. Hands off. My lunch is in there. What? Why is it hidden in work files? So nobody here will touch it. You're a wise man, Banks. Banks was my mentor when I joined the force. That's why they bust me down to desktop. That's so sad. What do you want, detective? Can't you see I have a reception desk to recept at? Um... I'm sorry about that, bud. Dispatch. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. But let's look at other stuff first. Friday evening, 7 p.m., but crime never sleeps. Us, well, we take shifts, and we're off on public holidays. Gotta take those rest days, detective. This is the first bit of actual police work I've seen in this place today. I used to work in dispatch. Until I dispatched the entire force to the chief's house trying to order myself some late night pizza. Oh, sweet boy. It's a mug. A normal, run of the mill mug. I don't know why I feel this need to comment on every item in a room. Good. Can't talk now, detective. System's broken and I can't figure out why. Oh, honey. I don't know much about how all this works, but I know that's not right. Servers are for the TLP. Ha! Bite! Ha! Ouch! 
Don't get too close, detective. That thing is a fighter. He just- I just got- yeah. Thanks, Dooley. Thumbs up. Gremlin. Yummy, yummy wires. It's trying to hack the database and steal all human info. We should fry him, detective. Interesting idea. <laughs> all right. These drawers are full of all sorts of rubbish. Like bobby pins. Actually, can I borrow one, Sally? You can just have one. I don't want it back after whatever you do with it. Smart. Bobby pin. Ooh. Can I... Shwoop. I think I can pry the shell off. Yes! Magnet. <gasps> I know what to do with this. A powerful magnet. Oh. Butts. Okay. Interesting. Well, we will be back for you, Mr. Gremlin. Holding cells. What kind of cells is this place holding? Human? Animal? Or vegetable? <laughs> Good. Fire hose. The hose they use to loop through the cell door handles to lock the place up at night. Chief Scully really pulled this place into sort of order, didn't she? Sure. <laughs> Weaponized incompetence is definitely a dually thing. Plugging this here gives me diving helmet. Fully functioning airtight helmet with secure air supply. I want to wear it. Ah, holding cell. <gasps> Not the rat. This guy's in police protection for informing. Try not to- try not toilet your incarceration get you down. <sighs> Just thinking about John. We put that up to cover the hole a prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he does dug his way into the rest of the station. Roy, detective. I'm gonna use my detectiving skills and say, you're in for solicitation. Impressive. Your guess, not his soliciting. Right. Anyway, hand him over, Roy. Hand what over? Your matches and cigars. I wish I'd never met you, detective. <laughs> Did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. I just don't find toilets all that funny. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet toilet humor? Hold on, can I click on this one again? Uh, holding cell three. <laughs> it's Tam! <laughs> Tam puts his name places so he knows what's his what what's his and what's not. Seriously, what am I meant to oh, okay. Hi Tam! Old Tam loves the whittle. Whittle, whittle, whittle. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can and Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam does not have one for you in his heart. Sorry, Tam. Old Tam ain't got nothing to do no more. Prison is a punishing place. That's correct. The knife I took from Tam. More matches from Busty Bells. Aw oh, yeah, Busty Bells. Let's go back. Oh, I bet I need that magnet for the door. That's probably what that's for. Let's go to the garage first. Air vent. There's a serious draft coming from those vents. The bolts probably just need to be tightened up. <laughs> I agree. Hmm. Dispatch junction box is screwed up. Cl screwed closed. Our government issued block with wheels. Seriously, why does he get all these nice things? A bulletproof sports car? A jerk. Hey, detective? Yeah? I think you're a better detective than McQueen. Thanks, Dooley. That really means a lot. I think you're a better sidekick than Dallas. 
I don't have her legs though. Well, no. But if you did that, that'd be theft, wouldn't it? But you do have quite the ass. <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Construction site. Water pipes. The water pipes run all over the station, from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin's fault. Some spare pipes from the work that's happening. A lump of cold hard clay. I have no use for this right now. But we will later, because I'm sure he's gonna make something cute with it. I think the tiny picket fences really make this place seem homely. Good addition by the chief. Mind if I borrow this? Why not? Can't see me getting back to work anytime soon. Monkey wrench. A tool for adjusting bolts of various size. Nothing to do with monkeys or fire hydrants. You don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so the union says it can't work. Not my place to go against the union. You seem familiar. Do I know you? Not that I know of, sir. No. Book. Oh, uh, this? It's not really. Just a book I got from the library. Late fees. Late fees. Oh, she's published now. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> That's great. Proper steamy stuff, this. Dooley, is that- is that you on the cover? In a Fabio wig? I, uh, those critters aren't gonna catch themselves, are they, detective? Dooley. This is what happens when I can't talk my way out of- Late fees. There are monsters to catch, detective! Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty ripped. Those little abs. Right there. But no nipples. Oh, that's great. With all the books. Oh, it's beautiful. He got dab booty and abs. I know. He's, he's quite the catch for McQueen. Alright. I think we've seen everything here. We just need to monkey wrench our way in. Oh, need to pry it. Can you use a knife to pry it open? <laughs> Have you ever tried to, I don't know, open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. I agree. <laughs> now I just need to find something to rewire this with. Like wires. Okay, let's see. I need to drag the wires from one node to the other same colored node without crossing them. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I... Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Uh... Doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. I used to have a phone game that was basically that. Very enjoyable. I played a lot of it. Eee! Yes, the system is back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. Good. All right. Let's go check out the shooting range. Hey, little man. You should not have that. They're bust. If I want them to work again, I need to fix the system in the basement. Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. Ooh boy, those are a lot of misses. Junction box. How did it get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this station? Pew pew pew! <laughs> the thing has a good aim. We should get it on the force. I think that may be a bad idea. <laughs> Bullet hole. Keeps hitting that spot while shooting at us. We need something stronger to hide behind. <laughs> Nothing is safe or sacred. You're correct. Alright, let's go back up to... Is that the... No, it was dispatch. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. Dispatched gr- oh, look at his little body. 
The sound overload knocks this, knocked this guy out. Can't talk now, detective. System's back online and there are people who need our help. I'm glad that's fixed, at least. Hands off, detective. They just came, came back online. I won't risk them failing again. Good. I'm assuming I take this and I do... no? Ah, uh, okay. Did I... I know what I gotta do. Okay. Coffee. Yeah, at least someone here is competent. Let's go give him the shits. Do, 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 ba, do. Ha. Spiked coffee. More potent than the average coffee. Oh, my king. I have a present for you. Haha, <laughs> keep the coffin coming, McLean. I could drink this stuff all day. Oh. Oh, no. Get out of my way! <laughs> Karma. <laughs> Good. I hope he's okay in there. People of Twin Lakes need a hero to look up to. Now to fix this with my manly skills and muscles. But mostly finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock. Magnetic, you say? This magnet should reverse the polarity and let me in. Beep boop. Oh, there's so much in here. Let's talk to Dooley. How did that thing even get in here? This room is meant to be locked down. I'm... I'm just so shocked you see them. Like, see and understand them. Eh, little green men in the situation. Right in my ballpark. I'm just shocked you're taking it so well. This is a world apart from your normal boring cop life. Mm. Evidence. Who do you think these wrote... Who do you think wrote these dumb scripts for a comedy game about two cops investigating weird crimes? Nothing, no, no, shut up, what? <laughs> yeah, Dooley. All that remains from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything case. Like a mimic? A plastic skull. A surprisingly more dangerous occult item than a real skull. I hope this illegal magical tome will be okay in here when the door is bust. Roleplay books. Not actual contraband, but dangerous reading nonetheless. That's true. D&D &D is a dangerous thing, but not too dangerous for a weekly game. Dooley, shh. <gasps> they play TTRPGs. Oh, how precious. I wonder what kind of characters they would play. <laughs> oh. Jars full of seamen from a mysterious figurine sailor case. They're goofy boys indeed. Gas grenades. Knockout gas. This could be handy if I want to be able to leave that party early. <laughs> One grenade should be enough. Powerful enough to knock out anyone in a small room. Hundreds and hundreds of tiny hats. A man made them to keep mice warm during the winter, but the mice turned out to be a gang of robbers, so we confiscated them. Fascinating. <sighs> Boxes of jam jars with one scoop taken out from the unsolved scooper case where they'd appear at crime scenes after investigations had started. Oh, that was me. I liked eating toast while I think, but I always forget to bring the pot with me afterwards, so I keep opening new ones. Harmless. Duly, we spent a lot of taxpayers' money investigating that. Harmless. <laughs> Sometimes you just need jam on toast. King's topless self-portraits. He signed them in for the crime of being too awesome for the general public. Gross. Box of odd socks. Our best people are looking into a ring of crooked washing machines that are behind the robbery of their other halves. Chum, chum, chum. It's too dangerous to get near. I need to find a way to knock it out. Gas! Gas it! That would knock me and Dooley out too. I need to- Oh! Dooley, step outside. Dooley, take this hose outside and keep the fresh air coming. Beautiful. He's so handsome. Gas him! Take this, you little monster! Uh oh. His name is Gramps. Good. Used grenade. Well, that was fun. 
While it's unconscious, I'll stuff it into my seemingly magical pockets. Evidence, Gremlin. Gas still has one snoring surprisingly deeply for something so small. Good. I'm taking this helmet off before I go out there. No need to walk around the station raising suspicions. We're being made fun of by everyone in the precinct. But you look so dashing. My insides make it stop. <laughs> oh. Okay. So we need something to hide behind for that. Is there something down here maybe we could fix? Aha. Gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I didn't remove this now, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. Fight the system. Duly, we're part of the system. Speak for yourself. I'm bringing this place down from the inside. I, I kind of knew that. Oh. I did not expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? No. <laughs> Correct. Let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. Can't we climb up? Can't climb up there. I'll take this for my trophy cabinet. I mean, I'll take it to be repaired. Yeah. The second one. Detective, how do you get all these things into your pockets? Origami? <laughs> Aha! A hood. A hood from King's car. Bulletproof, but not air vent proof. You don't say. Uh, oh no, it was down at the shooting range. So many places to go. I just have to angle it like this. Great, the junction box is broken and electricity is spraying out. As if this place wasn't broken enough already. Well, that's broken. Now all I need to do is bridge the cap between the gremlin and the electricity. Can I not? Her shield didn't help much, but maybe I can find a way to use that junction box to shock the gremlin. I don't have any... Hmm. Maybe... Oh, maybe one of the pipes. No? Fence? Water. Let's get the water flowing again, in case another fire starts. Water pipes run all over the station, from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin's fault. Alright. Yeah, this puzzle. Oh, wait, there we go. See, it's much easier when I don't have to do a slide puzzle. <laughs> the sprinklers should be working now. Get have me out of work, you will. set a fire. Can I set a fire on the... F hmm. Sprinklers are fixed now, but I need something to activate them. This should achieve something? <laughs> We're lucky it didn't get us. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. Finally, Dooley, grab the gun and I'll take this guy. And we magically won't die from the electricity. Okay, let's get back to the office before somebody sees us. Okay, let's lock these suckers into their new urn and get back to that party. Party! 
This guy shot at us. I have half a mind to flush this one down the toilet. Send him to John! So do I... In you go, sleepy monster. Back to captivity, you monstrous pal. Welcome home, little... Oops. Oops! Is that it? What do we do now? Flush him down the toilet and go back to the party? We need to make a new urn, a magical one, that can actually hold them. <sighs> again. We got the gremlins again. Okay. I have ideas. Let's go back to the stairwell and to the evidence room. Now, maybe... Maybe there will be instructions in here for sealing magical urns? Magical tome. Ripley's cast it or not. A magical tome taken from the library. Maybe we need the gas. One more grenade should be enough. Dark side. If I had any feelings of guilt for sending the king on this on his dirty timeout, I don't any longer. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Oh, did it say dork side? It says dork side. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't even notice. Look, sometimes dorks are great. Tiny hats. Semen. Portraits. Oh, I know. Uh, where's that man's office? Maybe. Oh, I bet we need to make one. Hmm. If I could find the right materials, I could make a new urn here. <gasps> We're gonna make pottery. Alright. The garage. This is a good urn urn making material. Clay. Lump of cold hard clay. <laughs> it's a sign. It's too dry to use. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's softened up. Wet clay. Clay, ready for use. Let's do this. How do you know how to make an urn? I watched that film Ghost a lot. For research. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. I have to imagine McQueen doing the pottery and Dooley doing a the ghost part. <laughs> I hope there's fan art of that, and if there isn't, there should be. <clears throat> An urn I made myself. I should stick it to my parents' fridge somehow. Magical tome. Let's see. Warding rituals, spells to bypass doing the dishes, and aha! A diagram for how to seal magical urns. Handy. Time for some finger crafting of runes. <laughs> oh good, I'm glad it's at least referenced in a, a fanfic. Um, let's see, let me write something down really quick. Alright. Okay, with these glyphs carved in, this should be able to hold the gremlins. One down. That's two. And that's done. Thank goodness. Let's get this somewhere safe. Okay, lock fixed and gremlins stashed away. What have we learned from this dually? Not to eat so much sugar. I'm crashing now. I don't really remember much what, of what happened. But I'm sure it was nothing important. 
Now let's get back to the party. Oh. Hey, where's all the cake gone? We ate it all. Why is this place a mess? What did you two do? Well, there was... And we, uh... Somebody let off a gas grenade. Nasty, big pointed teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. Um... We king did it! <sighs> Another one to file under dark side antics. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well, you two better start cleaning. The budget doesn't allow for both you caper, your capers and custodial staff. Oh man, chores and no cake. This day did not play out the way I hoped. Poor Dooley didn't get his cake. That's so sad. <laughs> Dooley already has cake. Yeah, but he can't eat his cake. <laughs> that would be dark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he sure can. You know, if if everybody's fine with that. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Well, it is 4:42, so that actually wasn't a super long case. I managed to not get super lost, which was lovely. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Alright. I think... I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I'm glad it didn't take too much longer. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine. Yeah, it's, it's just about 5pm here, so I imagine that's... it's almost 8? where you're at is, is, is it a two or three I always forget if it's two or three hour difference <clears throat> ah my brain works yeah I'm, I'm really glad that twitch does the thing where it will tell you like if you look at the schedule it'll show it in your time zone that is super nice um. oh what a silly game I am thoroughly enjoying this. Um, I love that McQueen is like secretly funny when no one else is around usually. Um, that's very fun to me. And uh, that Dooley is just surprisingly hot. <laughs> and like occasionally tries to pick up people that are just a bad idea. Yeah, he deserves more respect. Agreed. Oh, I love all the characters in this game. It's so funny. Yes, they both deserve more respect than they get. I mean, they're both messes, for sure. But they still get stuff done, which is good. It's more than can be said probably about the king. And Scully. And most of the people on the force. Except, what was her name? Sully, I think, in the uh, dispatch? Yes, it's a cute mess. <laughs> Making pottery, capturing gremlins, cleaning up, trashing the king's car. <laughs> Very fun. Oh, okay. Let's see. I think there's only a few of us here. So I might not do a raid. Unless someone is streaming. Um, let me see. Is anyone streaming? Where is my phone? There's my phone. <laughs> I, I mean, it's very possible that it's a genetic thing. Let's see. Is anyone else streaming Dark Side? Oh hey, uh, Dawn of Time is streaming again. If you guys would like, we can go uh, do a raid and go put, pop you guys on over to some more uh, Dark Side Detective. It looks like they might be at a later case though. So maybe not. <laughs> Tuli is the only one without logic. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, 
screenshot of the uh, stream and it looks like it's a scene I haven't seen yet, so maybe we don't. All right, well, in that case, I think we're just gonna end the stream here. Um, no stream on Thursday, cause that's Thanksgiving and I ain't doing that shit. That's too much. <laughs> uh, but I should be getting out the VODs at the same time and rate. Um, and then uh, I will be back next Tuesday for more Dark Side. Um, might be a few minutes late, but shouldn't be too bad. Um, and we should be able to get another case or two in. So that's exciting. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. I always love you guys coming in and, and just hanging out and talking. It's very fun. <laughs> good. Uh, and, it, and like I said, if you want to share any good uh, spoiler-free fanfics, there is a Discord. <laughs> Alright. Well... I will see you guys next week. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a really nice Thanksgiving. I hope you all have some good food, can relax. Thanks for coming by. It's always fun. Uh, and I will, I'll see you guys next week.